Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, it was a toasty day across the state of Texas as temperatures warmed up into the mid-90s for much of the Lone Star State. We saw the increased cloud coverage from the west. That kind of increased as we went into the evening hours. It's only going to continue to increase going into tomorrow. That's going to help to keep us a little bit on the cooler side. Probably not seeing these mid-90s that we saw today during the afternoon hours. Now starting to see those temperatures slowly cool back down into the 80s and 70s for across the area. In fact, right now, it's still at 84, despite sunset being almost two hours ago, hanging on to those temperatures thanks to that cloud coverage. Again, we're looking at those warmer temperatures as well as those higher dew points as well. Again, seeing that increased moisture, seeing that jump up nearly 20 degrees just in the past couple of hours as well. And those winds still out of the south at 13 miles per hour. And for the most part, we're seeing them die down now that we've gotten past sunset, not seeing, seeing those gusts that we saw up into the teens and 20s earlier in the afternoon. Again, things are going to be a little bit more calmer, but still hanging on to those warmer temperatures. 80s for much of the Concho Valley. Do have a couple pockets of 70s out towards Brady and Mason at 77, 79 for Big Lake and Ozona. Also, temperatures in the 70s as we go into the evening hours. Temperatures not going to cool off a whole lot. We're only going to be dropping down into the mid 60s. So, a pleasant day to get out there and kind of enjoy if you're planning to stay out. After a rodeo or just headed out downtown or doing anything outdoors, it's going to be some comfortable temperatures. We'll also see that increased cloud coverage as we go through the overnight hours. That's going to continue into tomorrow as well. Increasing those clouds, keeping us a little bit on the cooler side during the afternoon. Only getting up into the upper 80s, so 89 our afternoon high. And then we'll see those winds turn more out of the northeast. So the cooler temperatures be expected in the northern parts of the Concho Valley. Places in the south, closer towards I-10, they may end up staying in the 90s once again, just not nearly, not seeing nearly as much cool air make its way in towards our area. Tomorrow, again, we will have our full moon for April 16th. You might not see it because of that increased cloud coverage. This is normally our pink moon, a frog moon, also known as the sucker moon because of the uh, time of the year when the harvest of suckerfish occurs. The next full moon will be on May 16th. And your weekend forecast shipping up like this is going to be on the warmer side. Temperatures getting into the upper 80s and lower 90s for both Saturday and Sunday. Going to be a warm one for Sunday, but getting out Earlier in the evening, earlier in the morning hours, as you're heading out for that Easter Day service, again temperatures are going to start off in the 60s, so comfortable temperatures again to start off your Sunday. Quickly warming up as we get into the afternoon hours, into the 80s and then 90s. So still again planning your Easter attire. Definitely want to plan accordingly with those temperatures a little bit cooler during the mornings. So once we get past our Easter weekend and in towards the next week, we start to see that chance for some of those increased rain chances. First starts off late on Sunday, mostly off towards our southeast. So places like Mason may get in an on some of those isolated showers. But then as we go through Monday and Tuesday, we start to see these isolated pop-up showers. Again, it could be seen for both Wednesday as well as Thursday as well. So again, it's going to be very hit or miss. Not going to see that widespread push of frontal uh, push of a large cold front with those widespread rain showers like we would normally see. So again, next week, breezy conditions to start off. Temperatures in the 80s with isolated rain chances.